Hello everybody, welcome to the Tudor Learning Center. This is JD Tudor and I'm here to teach you about the Pythagorean Triple. All right, we're gonna get most of our answers here out of the Springboard Geometry book, which is widely used here in the community. So let's get started. As you can remember in a previous video, the Pythagorean Theorem consist consisted of a formula and it was C squared equals A squared plus b squared, if you've seen one of my previous videos. All right, so what we're doing today is the Pythagorean triple, which, let me get over here. Okay, so example one. Um, what we're gonna do is plug in the numbers three, four, and six, and see if they match what it equals to, um, into a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So we're going to insert three here where the a squared is, four where the b squared is, and six where the C square is. So we're gonna have three squared plus four squared equals six squared. So we're gonna see if that uh, this side matches this side. So three times three is gonna be nine. Four times four is gonna be 16. Equals six times six equals 36. So we have 25 equals 36. So no, these numbers are not going to uh, be triples. So because 25 does not equal 36. All right, so example number two is we're going to try to uh, plug in six, eight, and 10. Okay, so six, eight, and 10 are in fact triples and I'll show you why. So we're plugging in six squared, eight squared, and 10 squared. All right, and so we get six times six is 36, eight times eight is 64, 10 times 10 is 100. 36 plus 64 is 100. 100 equals 100. So yes, this is going to be a Pythagorean triple. So this section is going to teach you uh, mainly how to plug in numbers. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, that's all. If you like what you see here today, short, super short video, press like. Thank you.